Yeah, they love Taylor Swift, Janet Jackson as well. I don't know if they love the prices, though, so let's talk about that. These people beat the, those high sky ticket prices to see Taylor Swift by watching it outside on that jumbotron. That's exactly what Cody Alcorn was talking about. And with people going to this length, it makes you wonder, why are these concerts so, so expensive? Well, it's all because of dynamic pricing. It's a strategy used by Ticketmaster, rideshare companies and others to adjust prices based on demand and ticket resellers are to blame for that policy as well so we just checked in with StubHub about 30 minutes ago and you can see the cheapest ticket for swift's concert tomorrow is almost 800 dollars that's the cheapest that money goes to the person selling the ticket but with dynamic pricing it keeps money going to the artists and also to the production team and of course to Ticketmaster. Now some artists out there are fighting the prices though like The Cure who work with Ticketmaster to try to keep those prices low but scalpers still find a way all around all of that to make some cash. Others are just selling tickets in person and of course shortly after Taylor Swift's tickets went on sale and crashed Ticketmaster Congress got involved to look into that dynamic pricing policy.